Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Something different. Uh, we're going out for a bit of breakfast this morning. Uh, you won't even recognise where this is, I guarantee, but we're at the Sealand Brewery car park and it's located between Soy 10 and Soy 12 on Tapraya Road. So come down either of them and you'll get to it. Or you can access it off uh, Soy 6 in Pratamnak. Don't worry, I'm with Nong Nui. So this is... Uh, this is where you come park your car and then they've got this little golf buggy with your driver there <laughs> and he'll take us up to the restaurant so let's see what's for breakfast okay so this is a uh, soy 12 and actually behind us let me see if i can do it at the bottom of the soy there is patea park right behind us It's only about 30 seconds in the in the buggy to get up to the actual restaurant. I thought, well, if you are coming by car, it gives you somewhere to park. And even if you're coming by motorbike and you don't want to leave it up on to prayer, because obviously it can be busy. So there we go, that's Soy 12 up onto Tipraya Road. And the restaurant is right in front of us here. So that's the traffic lights. Uh, if you turn left, that would take us into Pratumnak. If we went straight on at the traffic lights, that would take us uh, back into Patea, down the third road. I think Nui must be hungry, because uh, she's gone already. Bloody oh. crap. Now, we've been here a few times. This is, uh, this is one of uh, Dong's friends. Let's go. You okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> very okay. Lucky you not go walking street last night, huh? I, I, I won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's uh, get settled and uh, show you what's, what's for breakfast. Okay, so this is the first morning of the breakfast buffet. Uh, and it includes your coffee and your tea. I think the price is 249 plus 10% service. But as you can see, there is a saute, mash, boil, some sort of sausages, some vegetarian dish. Now this one's their uh, meatloaf and some penny pasta. And at the back there are some goulash, rice, some sort of egg tarts and a carbonara. And some Thai offerings, a sea joke there. Uh, they've got the toaster there also. So you pick up your breads, some proper uh, Lurpak butter, and then uh, some salad, uh, some salad things. If you want to come across here, you'll see some uh, cold meats and salads, and some cheeses, hams and salamis, some uh, fried egg, boiled egg and scrambled egg, and you've even got some fruit. So quite a good selection. Um, what I'll do is I'll see if I can get a menu and show you. We've been here a few times already. Main, well, always at a night time. So um, yeah, it's it's big, big portions. Plenty of seatings, and uh, I'll show you the beer options as well. Okay, so I've made myself up a little uh, continental breakfast. Uh, knew he had made something up, but she's almost finished it. Uh, don't worry, I've kind of got my fry up at the side. Don't expect bacon and eggs, it, it's not that type of place. You can see what kind of place it is. But anyway, good selection. And don't worry, uh, the staff came over with a menu, so I'm going to show you what's in the normal menu. So this is the, uh, I suppose the tester. You, you try the lager, the Weizen, Vienna, and a mixed beer. But they also do some big ones. Let me show you in the menu what it looks like. They do some very big ones. So let's show you the uh, beers they do and the prices. I'll tell you from the, the, the outset, 
uh, all the prices, there's 10% on top as a service charge. So there's no need to tip when you come, uh, but there is a 10% charge on top. Look at this, one metre of beer, 699 baht. That's 10.2 litre uh, glasses. Uh, the one that I just showed you, sorry, the one that I just showed you is this one here. Uh, 4.1 litres of uh, different beers. I'll do the maths later and work out. So this is, this is what we're having today. The brunch buffet, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Currently, it's only on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, 249 plus 10%. <coughs> There are some Thai food selections. And although it's typically uh, German food, you see there is some uh, pizza options here as well and some Thai food. So, how would I describe this place? Um, it's like a casual hops, you know the hops uh, restaurant on Beach Road, it's more uh, intimate there, uh, it's a bit darker, but they have a band here playing, this is more like big glasses of beer and clinking them together. Um, <clears throat> now when I've been before, I've had uh, the big schnitzel. You can have chicken or pork, and that is, it is a big, big dish. But here's a photograph of it here, and that is exactly how it comes. Um, and you just choose whether you want mashed potato, spetsle. I love spetsle, I don't even know what it is, but it's very nice. Uh, fried potato, french fries, or potato salad. And you get a selection of sauces here, sweet chilli sauce, gravy sauce, etc. Uh, don't worry, you guys that like uh, currywurst and bratwurst, you'll see them here on this page, and even uh, goulash pork stew with noodles. Covers everything from uh, half roast duck. Uh, this one here, I knew he had that one time, it was lovely. And I'm going to put a picture that I'm going to steal from the Facebook page. Because I had this last night and it is absolutely massive. Luckily, two girls always would have shared it with me. And there's authentic Bavarian food as well. Uh, some Thai food options there. If uh, the company that you're with doesn't doesn't eat German style food. And this is what Nong had last night. She had the kilogram of uh, mussels, and it is a big, big bucket of mussels. In fact, she took half of it home. Lots of side dishes, and not forgetting desserts. So if you've got a sweet tooth, you'll always find something. A full cocktail range, and some wines. Uh, I am not a wine expert at all, so I would like to just read it and you decide if it's for you. Uh, normal spirits and shots. And then uh, mocktails, soft drinks, coffee and tea. And they do specials, like, they told us when we came in, oh, tomorrow night, after 8 o'clock, 80%, 40% off everything. Uh, but I don't know how regular that's going to be, so if I hear any more, I'll, I will update you, okay. Yeah, so on an evening, the band, they sit up there. So they're out, out the way, but it gives the place a nice feel. And, uh, oh, can we get the camera up there? There's more seats upstairs. I don't think it's open as yet, but um, they're kind of in their soft, still in their soft period. But there's no new. She is still, still eating. What you got now? Smoothie, strawberry. A, a strawberry smoothie. Yeah. 
This is breakfast. Uh, brunch officially. But you can see there's quite a few people uh, coming for breakfast. I mean, people have been coming and going all the time. We've been here an hour. It's maybe uh, coming up for 12.30 now. Okay, if you if you come here, this is Gao. Look, hold on. Where's Gail. her name? Yeah. Where's her name there? Gao. My name Gao. Yeah. Thank you. She's uh, a friend of Queen Mel's. She'll look after you really I good. Okay. So that was us. We, that was us at Sealand Brewery on uh, Tepreya Road near the so top of Soy 10 and 12. Got there yakking. Okay. As you can see, plenty of seating up here. Cock in the club. Come on. Yeah, that was a, a very filling breakfast. Don't expect to come up and have like a traditional English English breakfast. It's not the case. Um, the only thing that was probably a disappointment was the fried eggs. And I, I said to Guy Russell, they really need to keep them fresh to order. They don't sit in the uh, keep well. We're getting this little buggy. Okay, we'll go back to the car. Okay, now, so thanks for joining us once again. This was just a, a little impromptu one, so we'll see you next time when we're uh, out dining in Patea. Okay, bye bye for now.